Hello dear students, in this session we will learn how to derive an expression for wave number using Bose atom model. We have to derive this equation 1 by lambda is equal to r, r stands for Rydberg's constant into 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. We will see how to uh, derive it. So, according to Bohr's, Bohr's third, uh, third, third postulate, when, a, when an electron makes a transition from higher energy state to lower energy state, okay, one photon is uh, emitted whose energy should be equal to energy difference of two energies, two orbits okay. or uh, let us suppose that an electron say an electron makes a transition, makes a transition from transition from a higher orbit n to a higher orbit a higher orbit n 2 to a lower orbit n 1, lower orbit n 1. Then according to Bohr's uh, postulates, we know that E 2 minus E 1, E 2 minus E 1 is equal to h nu, E 2 minus E 1 is equal to h nu. Now, what is, what is E 2? We know the <laughs> equation for expression for energy, energy equal to minus m z square e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square n square h square this is the equation for energy. Now, what is e 2? e 2 is equal to I will write uh, z square by n square outside okay? or uh, yeah I can write e 2 equal to minus, okay, minus m into z square e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square n 2 square okay, h square minus what is E 1? E 1 means minus m into z square into e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square into n 1 square into h square why E 1 is the energy corresponding to orbit n 1 E 2 is the energy corresponding to orbit n 2 is equal to h nu. I want equation for 1 by lambda. So, I will write h into nu means I will write c by lambda. Okay. Now, what happens? Uh, <coughs> now, except uh, n 1 square and n 2 square here all other terms are same and here minus of minus be becomes plus. So, what I can write is minus I will take outside. Okay minus I will take outside minus or if I take uh, okay, if I take m into z square into e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h square common this thing I will take it common then what remains inside is minus 1 by n 2 square this minus of minus becomes plus plus 1 by n 1 square equal to h c by lambda. Okay, now, we will simplify this h will come to the denominator, c also will come to the uh, denominator. So, what happens? I will write, I will write okay, uh, m into z square into e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h square into h is h cube okay. and this c also comes here into c into 1 by n 1 square 1 by I will inter interchange these two terms because it is addition minus 1 by n 2 square is equal to 1 by lambda. Now, if you observe here m is mass of electron z is atomic number uh, it is applicable only to you know hydrogen or hydrogen like uh, atoms atomic number is uh, E is charge of an electron, epsilon naught is constant, H is constant, C is constant. If you take Z equal to 1 okay, for hydrogen atom, if you take Z equal to 1 and if you substitute all the answers here, okay, you, you are going to get a value something very close to 1.093 into 10 to the power 7 per meter, okay, which is very close to the value of Rydberg's constant. So, therefore, what happens? This can be replaced by r. So, the equation for wave number 1 by lambda is equal to r into 
r into r into 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Okay. Uh, this z square comes here actually, okay. z square comes here. Okay. If uh, in the case of hydrogen, say you are doing calculation for hydrogen, then you neglect this z because for hydrogen z equal to 1. For hydrogen, this equation is simply 1 by lambda equal to r into 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. But in general, for hydrogen like atom, for example, for a singly ionized helium. Okay. So, z equal to 2 correct now, then you have you cannot neglect this uh, z, uh, wavelength is inversely proportional to square of the atomic number 1 by 1 by lambda is uh, proportional to z square which is uh, helpful for NEET, but for uh, board examination purpose this is enough. Thank you very much.